As diabetes is on the rise, we know that so many more people are actually on insulin now. We have type 1 diabetics who obviously need insulin for survival, and then we have type 2 diabetics who have become more insulin resistant, or the pancreas is not producing as much insulin, and then of course we have gestational diabetics, diabetes during pregnancy, and normally we prescribe insulin for those moms that need it because we know that it is the safest thing that we can give for the baby. So you're probably wondering, well, what kind of insulin are we going to talk about today? Because we know there's a lot of different kinds and a lot of different varieties of insulin. Today, I am going to talk about long acting insulin, also known as basal insulin. And I like to call it background insulin. So if you are that patient or you know someone that is taking Basaglar, Lavimir, Lantis, Tujeo, or Trisheba, you're going to want to tune in because I'm going to talk to you guys about all of these insulins today. So guys, again, welcome to my channel, The Voice of Diabetes. My name is Diana. I'm an expert in diabetes, and I'm here to teach you how you can better manage your diabetes so that you can obviously maintain good glycemic control and lead and live a very happy and long life. So that is my goal here today. Let's make it happen, guys. So the insulins that I just mentioned, they are called basal insulins. And what they are is they are long-acting insulins that work throughout a 24-hour period. Well, at least we hope they do. So what does that mean? That means that they are kind of just pushing you along throughout the day. They're not peaking. They are just cruising throughout in your body to help you keep your blood sugar levels at a lower level. So they work slowly and they are there just to help you get through the day without you having any significant high blood sugar levels in a 24 hour period. With that being said, basal insulins or these long acting insulins are usually never given before a meal because they're not gonna do much for you if you were to give your Lantus or if you were to give Tejeo before you ate, we know that this is obviously not gonna kick in and it's not going to work. Because it works in a 24 hour period manner, that means if you were to inject this and you would hope that it would help your postprandial or after you eat a meal, blood sugar glucose, you're unlikely gonna achieve that because that's not how these work. So an example would be, let's just say I have a patient who is on 12 units of Lantus or 12 units of Basaglar, and they're constantly having high blood sugars during the night or they're waking up in the morning and their blood sugars are way above target. Maybe they are 240 when they wake up, maybe they are 180, whatever they may be, that's how we would know if the basal insulin is actually working. So if the patient is all of a sudden spiking throughout the night and their blood sugars are in the 200 plus range, normally we would increase the basal insulin so we can help the patient achieve better glycemic control throughout a 24 hour period. Now, if the patient is waking up low in the morning, their blood sugars is 60 or 70, normally what we would have to do is to decrease the insulin. That means that the patient is getting a little bit too much insulin and we need to lower the dose so that they won't go hypoglycemic. In other words, they won't have a low blood sugar reaction. So of course, we would be naive to think that all of these insulins work the same. If they work the same, then why am I prescribing Tujeo to a certain patient and Lantus to another patient? Well, because they don't work the same. That's why we make individualized decisions every time in healthcare. What does that mean? That means that every patient that walks through my door, even if I have 10 diabetics who are type 2 diabetics, no one usually leaves with the same treatment option. Of course, what one patient may need does not mean the other patient may need. So what does this mean exactly? Well, let me explain to you a little bit about the different insulins that you may be taking. Lantus, for example, you're only getting about 18 to 20 hour coverage. So what does that mean? That means that it is your basal insulin. It is helping you sustain your blood sugar levels throughout a 24 hour period. But what clinical studies show and what my personal experience shows is that patients are only getting roughly 18 to 20 hours at best coverage, meaning that that is when the insulin is no longer working in your body and it's no longer able to really push and drive those blood sugars in the normal range that we want them to. However, the newer insulins, for example, Tujeo came out and I use Tujeo quite a bit. 
we're noticing that we're getting about 30 to 36 hours of coverage. This is really good for patients that want longer acting coverage. And of course, sometimes patients' schedules may not be the same. So if someone wakes up at six in the morning one day, but then they're up at nine in the morning the next day, I'm not gonna have them set the alarm up for 6 a.m. so they can take the insulin every 24 hours. They have a little bit of leeway to take the insulin a little bit later. And of course, they're getting better coverage overall, so they're not gonna see their blood sugar spike all of a sudden after 18 hours of administering. Lavimir or Lantis, I consider them brother and sisters. They're very much similar, but actually Lavimir, you're getting even less coverage. You're getting about 16 to 18 hours. So Lavimir, normally Lavimir and Lantus, to be honest, I usually dose this twice a day. I'll have the patient take it in the morning and I'll have the patient take it at bedtime, depending on what I'm trying to achieve with that particular patient. The same company that actually makes Lavimir said, hey, you know what, we need to make another insulin that's actually going to be better than the original insulin, which is Lavimir. So that particular company actually made Trishiba is similar to Tujeo, and they've actually done head-to-head -head studies with this, but it's actually even more long-acting, guys. To, uh, Trishiba, it lasts about 42 hours, which is amazing. And of course, you don't want to go 42 hours without taking insulin, but we know that it's still in your system for that long. So everyone that I prescribe Trishiba usually takes this every 24 hours. They take it about the same time every day. So if you take your the Trishiba at 8 in the morning, normally I recommend patients stick to that similar routine every single day so that we can maintain and we can have more predictability with their blood sugar levels. You're probably wondering, well, why did they end up making these newer insulins? What is the difference? I can just take two doses of the Atlantis, Basaglar, or the Lavamir. Why would I need Trishiba or Tujeo? Believe it or not, not only are you getting more coverage, of course, longer acting background insulin, but when they did studies, they realized that those patients on the newer insulin, so the improved versions of the insulin, have a lot less hypoglycemia than those patients taking the older insulins like Lantus, Lavimir, and Basaglar. So of course, whenever we have patients who tend to go low on those medications, on those different insulins, I really fight to put them on the newer on the newer insulins to eliminate or lower the percentage of hypoglycemia. We know that hypoglycemia is obviously very scary and can be very dangerous, so we try to avoid it at all costs. And obviously, using these newer insulins has shown to be a lot more beneficial. I, just to kind of recap, basal insulin, the insulins that I mentioned here are background insulins. We normally never administer these insulin before meals. They are normally administered once or twice a day, either morning or nighttime or morning and nighttime, depending on which insulin you are. We split the dose accordingly, but this would this helps your sugars throughout the entire day and it won't do much for you after meal blood sugar reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider giving this video a thumbs up and share with others and share it on your social media. This video can help others as well. Again, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.